applies to the whole portfolio. So think about it in terms of active safety and passive safety. So from a passive standpoint, each model that's been tested of the, and the Buick lineup has an IIHS top safety pick. Uh, we had the industry first front center airbag is standard on the Enclave, and then uh, the safety and security of OnStar on every vehicle. Now turn your attention to, act, to active safety. So if you think about the whole lineup on every Buick in 2014, every vehicle will have a valuable, uh, again, think of it in your mind, forward, uh, front, side, back. So you've got forward collision alert available on every Buick, lane departure warning and side blind zone alert, and then a rear vision crank camera and rear cross traffic alert available on every vehicle. So a commitment to safety at Buick. And then if you want to think about customer focus or, or put it in your mind as kind of peace of mind, um, we have experienced Buick protection in, in every model. So again, giving people a reason to try Buick. We want to bring them into the family because we're so confident in that. Uh, and our products that we've bring, been bringing out now, we know once the people experience it, that we can keep them in a good family. One way to do that is to, again, offer them that peace of mind. Two years and 24,000 miles of scheduled maintenance on every Buick. Great warranty protection that you can see up there. Uh, courtesy transportation, roadside assistance, six months of OnStar. That five years of OnStar remote link mobile app service. And then all of that is kind of, if you look at some third-party endorsement of that strategy, uh, Kelly Blue Book, it was a best, best value luxury brand, um, Auto Pacific Vehicle Satisfaction Award, and Vincentric Best Value in America Award. And I would say about the Auto, Auto Pacific, uh, it's the best, um, the highest rated popular brand in the market. Um, it's, it's, if you're not familiar with it, it's a survey of 50 or 52 vehicle attributes, and they survey about 52,000 people. So a pretty robust survey, and it, again, it had Buick as the top popular brand which told us, again, was kind of validation that we're on the right track. So then I just wanted to make one last comment. Uh, you've seen in the press, you've heard some chatter about the idea of uh, Opal and Buick working closer together. That is absolutely true. And what we're doing there is just forming a more, a tighter relationship. Now we've been doing that already, as evidenced by an Opal Mocha and a Buick on Accord, or an Insignia and a Regal, or a Verano, Astra, Buick Excella, uh, GT and XT in China. So we've already been doing that, but this is really kind of more formalizing the relationship and putting a more focused emphasis on it to say that let's work together, let's make sure we work together over time early in the process to, with the strength of both brands, make both brands better. It offers more opportunity going forward. It'll expand our horizons, if you will. It will provide scope and scale such that some things that we might not have been able to do on our own, we can now do on our own. And it provides the opportunity for all those Buick attributes to make Opal better and the things that Opal's great at to make Buick better. And I think together we become, uh, both brands working to be get, together become better individually as well. So that's really what you're hearing when you hear about this. Opal and Buick working closer together, Buick North America, Buick China and Opal. So that's what that's all about. So